I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those terms that's used so much, but it's the biological diversity of, of life on Earth. And that can be diversity of landscapes, diversity in terms of individual species, right down to genetic diversity. And I mean, the reason it's so important is that it, it, it it's basically provides everything that we need for, for, for life on Earth, both through its provisioning services, through the foods, the diversity of foods and drugs particularly, and also through the diversity, through what it provides in terms of regulating services like carbon, carbon regulation, clean water is another one, uh, nutrient cycling, all of those require a biodiverse planet. Um, and then the third aspect of biodiversity that's so important is the cultural values that we have in them, the landscapes we like to visit, the ecotourism, but also the spiritual value of landscapes. That, you know, that That's all part of why we need a biodiverse uh, landscape, a biodiverse world. And yet we're undergoing a sixth mass extinction right now because we're losing huge amounts of land through to land use, from land use change. And that's a, a very, very big and serious global issue, I would say one of the biggest. There are two key pressures on biodiversity right now. One of them is global warming and the second one is land use change. I'd say that land use change is probably the bigger driver um, currently, although in the next 50 to 100 years it may well be that climate change, uh, that that balance, is, it, that is also an equal, equal driver. Um, but also we've got this, this rather ironic situation now where many of the mitigation strategies we're proposing for climate change, for example, moving to biofuel production is putting even more pressure on the biodiverse land so that obviously we're converting biodiverse lands for biofuel crops, certainly, certainly the first generation uh, biofuel crops and that's a big problem.